Let us pray. Prepare your heart for him. Get your heart ready for Christ Jesus. Say, O oh Holy Spirit, prepare me for the word of God. Prepare me, O oh Holy Spirit, for the truth which is Christ Jesus. Guide me into the footsteps of our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. May be seated. We are in the house of God, but one question you should ask yourself. Whatever you want from him must be for the glory of God. Because you were created for the glory of God. But whatever you want, how you want it, will you give God glory? This is the biggest question to answer. I'm reading John 9 from verse 1 to 7. Now as Jesus passed by, he saw a man who was blind from birth, and his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. I must work the works of him who sent me while it is still day. The night is coming when no one can walk. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had said these things, he spat on the ground and made clay with saliva, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with clay. And he said to him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is translated sent. So he went and washed and came back seeing. Whatever your situation presented before God must result into the glory of God. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus whatever my situation, I present to you, must result the glory of God. To say, the results of your prayer today must be for the glory of of God. Go to verse 8, 9, 10, up to 12. Therefore, the neighbors and those who had previously seen that he was blind said, Is not this he who sat and begged? Some said, This is he. Others said, He is like him. He said, I am he. Therefore, they say to him, how were your eyes opened? He answered and said, A man called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. So I went and washed, and I received my sight. Then they said to him, Where is he? He said, I do not know. Go tell it to the man. Over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Lord. Let me tell you the truth. It will be a very disappointed person who you will be if you never talked about him 
to others. What do you find in heaven if God gives you a chance to enter? Say, oh, why didn't tell others about him? Hmm, I thought it is a religion. I thought it was not true. I thought we have to believe. I thought, so there are so many seated here thinking that these are things, you know, the things of God. God is not one of these things because he created these things for his glory. The question, are you here for the glory of God? That is the biggest question. Whether you want to become too rich, that is not the end. You can have money, you can have children, you can have everything, but that is not the end of the journey. Our destination is heaven. We came, but we have to go back. It will disappoint you when you reach heaven, when you are the poorest. It will disappoint you when you reach heaven and see that what you called things, it was real, God is in his reality. The church issue doesn't matter. I pray from this church or the other church. I'm from this ministry or the other ministry. That doesn't matter. This is my pastor. This is not my pastor. That doesn't matter. You and your Jesus matter a lot. The church is just the body of Christ. We, if we gather together, we are the church. But your personal relationship with him matters a lot. Whichever pastor is preaching, teaching, is like a teacher. He has nothing to do with where you are going to work. The teacher will not give you a job. The teacher will not give you an office. Yes? But... To help you qualify for this job or the other job. That is how you should take it. I'm from this church. Come. Heaven is not a church. Yeah? It's not. Heaven is our home. You know who is in heaven? Matthew 6, verse 9. In this manner, therefore pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father, thou art in heaven. Our Father, our producer, our manufacturer is in heaven. That is the one who is in heaven. The father of all. You may have different teachers, but the father is one. Whether you are small, big, you speak this language, that language, that doesn't matter. In this world, we were brought as actors who acted as a shopkeeper in the drama. It is John who acted as a shopkeeper, who acted as a lawyer. 
Then the drama is finished. The people watch, finish. And those who acted, they are paid their money. So generation to generation, we come as actors. We participate in the generation and act. Who act as a teacher in that generation? Who act as a farmer? Why on the earth acting as a farmer? What did you do? These are the questions you'll be asked. <laughs> Why on the earth acting as a pastor? What did you do? You know, for me, I'm a man of God. I'm a pastor. <laughs> Don't proud yourself. You are acting. Kakande is here acting. He's doing what? Whatever I do, I'm one actor. I'll be asked, mm -hmm, who act as a pastor in Uganda those days? What did you do? Why you didn't do this or that? <laughs> because I thought, I thought, <laughs> you thought? And we were brought into this world like a mango tree. The mango tree does not eat itself. Wake up. Those who eat the mangoes, they neither eat the tree, but they eat the mangoes. While they are eating, they bless God. They give him glory. They say, oh God, I was hungry, but at least thank you for this mango tree. Can we suggest now and bring fertilizers and fertilize this mango tree so that it may produce more? So the blessing, whatever you want to say, to talk about, you get like fertilizers. I'm giving you a secret. Like fertilizers. People will come and eat from you and bless God because of your coming into this world. Then they will ask for the fertilizers. Father, bless him. Father, bless him. Father, bless him. It is not that you become too rich and eat too much. God has blessed you. Stone there, and you'll be rich with no peace, you'll be rich with no happiness. So, whatever you are asking for today, be wise. The blessings are plenty, but will those blessings you are going to get today be multiplied? Or you receive them, and that will be the end. Are you out for a mango tree or a banana or an orange tree? You are out to become what? And remember, you are here to act for some time. After that, To go to the Father who sent you to act on his behalf. So I'm here to act on his behalf. I will be questioned what I acted. What does he do like this? <laughs> yeah, I'm one actor. You are here to act on his behalf. 
half. Who was the preacher that day? Who was the believer that day? If you were the believer, did you believe what the preacher preached? <laughs> I thought, because he wasn't my pastor, I, just, I had just visited. Whether I'm your pastor or not, that doesn't matter. You are the believer today. Say, I'm the believer today. Kakande is a preacher today. I'm here to believe the word of God and the prophet and the act as a believer. Who acted as a sick person that day? Did you believe? Yes. Were you healed? Yes. Did you give glory to God? <laughs> After getting healed, I forgot. <laughs> Did you tell others that Jesus is a healer? After your healing? <laughs> it was too much. <laughs> Bad servant. Whether you are sick today, doesn't matter, you are an actor. Because Jesus is a healer, people must be there to act as sick people. You have no excuse to prove that he is a healer, to prove that God loves us and he takes care of us. Whether you are poor, that doesn't matter. You are there to act as a poor man, to be blessed and present this blessing to the people and tell them that Jesus is a blessing to us. Whether you have a problem, that doesn't matter. You are acting to believe and receive a solution and present it to the people that Jesus is really a problem solver. This is your time. Use your time. This is your day. Use your day. Tomorrow may be late. Show me the way you solve problem. Show me the way you heal. Show me the way you save. Show me the way you protect. I'm in Matthew 9. Verse 1, 2, 8. So he got into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own city. Then behold, they brought to him a paralytic, lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer, your sins are forgiven you. And at once, some of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemes. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Arise and walk? But that you may know, the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, Arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. And he rose and departed to his house. Now when the multitude saw it, they were marveled and glorified God who had given such power to men. To God be the glory. What is your situation today? Complaining isn't the answer. You're acting badly, wrongly. Even if you are the sinner today, you were prepared to be the sinner of today. Don't complain. To prove to everybody that really Christ Jesus is a merciful son of God and is able to forgive our sins. He is able to pardon us. So who you are, whatever the situation be so much careful and be ready to act positively for the glory of God. Because have you seen somebody studying and become a professor 
and becomes an ambassador, let's say of uh, Britain or whatever. When he reaches 65, what happens? They said the former retired ambassador. But this man is well educated. He's a professor. He's a doctor. He's a whatever. All his degrees, PhD, whatever he studied is over. He's retired. And do you know the word retired means? It is a bad word. Retired. They tie you, and they tie you, and they tie you, and they tie you, and they tie you. Because you cannot. Before you were running, when you are retired, you cannot run. That time you were young, this time you are already man. You cannot run as a young man. You are re retired. Not retired. Re Oh, it is a bad word. Save yourself. Use your time. Save yourself. Use your time for the glory of God. Be careful. Whatever you are, you are an actor for this time. Save yourself. Use this time, your time, for the glory of God. This is what will give you marks in heaven. This will qualify you or disqualify you. One day you'll be a retired servant. I'm not terrifying you. No. But, hey, it is better to teach and preach the real truth. Now, if I'm to reach the other woman, I have to walk. I cannot jump. The real truth, though I'm a prophet, I have to. Mm. If not walking, I have to run. This is the real truth, but I cannot jump. This is what I'm saying. This is the process. So if I tell you the real truth, it will help you and make you stronger. What did he say? He said, it's not a joke. I have to use my time. You are here for the salvation of your soul. All miracles he can perform. All wonders. I have seen many miracles. I've seen many wonders. All that is not an issue. He can perform. Don't be tempted. God will do many miracles in your life. Many wonders in your life. Many things you see. Don't be tempted. Don't think your situation is so difficult to the Lord. You are deceiving yourself. That one I assure you. Every miracle he can do. 1.8 of Acts of Apostle. You are here as a witness. He, Jesus is a savior. Is it true? Go and tell the others. Kakande is here as a witness. He's not even the healer. It has nothing to do with the healing. He's a witness. That is why he said, don't leave Jerusalem. Until when you get the Holy Spirit. But when the Holy Spirit shall come, read it. But you will receive power mm. when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Mm. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem mm -hmm. and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. So each miracle, you are a witness. Say so each miracle I see... Each miracle happened in my life. I'm a witness to confirm to everybody that Jesus is for real. 
He is a savior. He died in my place. God loves me. And he takes care of me. That is the confidence you should have. What miracle are you talking about? He found Sidrach, Mesach, and Abednego in the fire. What miracle are you talking about? He stayed in the den of lioness with Daniel. What miracle are you talking about? Hallelujah. Amen. So I assure you, whatever brought you here is just at hand. It's just... But are you receiving it for your own selfish ambitions or for the glory of God? If it is for the glory of God, it is in your hands. Amen. This, what you do in the classroom, prepare you to become a doctor a lawyer, an engineer. So these signs, these miracles, are to prepare you for your journey to heaven. I don't say you're going to die today or tomorrow or the other day. Don't misquote me. But it is better to teach the truth. <laughs> However much it is sour, it is better. Say, hey, I'm here for the glory of God. Oh, each day I should thank God. Oh, I'm here because God loves me and takes care of me. Oh, I'm here to give him glory. Oh. Eh? Yes? This is what I'm saying. And how do we keep our miracle? Because this is the biggest confusion. Yes? Listen. Luke 11 from the first verse. Now it came to pass, mm. as he was praying in a certain place, when he seized that one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. Mm. So he said to them, when you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread and forgive our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Our Father, thou art in heaven. Hallowed be your holy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So every day, before you go to work, before you touch anything, one, say good morning to Jesus. One day, I walked up, but I was a bit weak. I went back. Let me rest a bit. When I was resting, a few minutes, Somebody asked me a question. Did you greet your master, Jesus? <laughs> we have to greet him. <laughs> Did you greet? I never knew that Jesus, you have to greet him. Sincerely, I never knew. These things are as if it is a joke. I never knew. Brother, sister, you have to kneel down in the morning and say, 
Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jesus. This is the reality of the gospel. In the morning early, because he's the cause, our Father in heaven, he's the cause of everything. You can wonder why Christ Jesus early he was in the wilderness praying. Hmm. He is a God. Why should he pray? Because the stores are in heaven, they are not on the earth. And the stores, they are with the Father. He said, these things I do not do by my own self, but when the Father is in me, he does the works. So each day, he had to go and ask him, his Father. So the same way, because he was a teacher teaching us, I'm reading John 14, verse 10 and 11. Do you believe not that I'm in the Father, and the Father is in me? Mm. The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, mm -hmm. but the Father who dwells in me does the works. Mm -hmm. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the works themselves. So he never acted alone. He acted on the authority and in the powers of his father. So every morning he could go, all in the morning, in the mountains and they pray, to pray minister and ask what he will use that day. You, the way you eat breakfast and you get strength, and then you need to eat lunchtime, more strength, and again, you eat dinner for more strength. In the morning, you have nothing in the stomach. And you'll be... The same way, before you go to your job, you business people in the office, hey, hey, don't waste time. Our Father, thou art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Let thy kingdom come into my life. Let thy kingdom come and reign in my business. Hey, hey, hey! You come into my office not knowing that the kingdom of God is now reigning in my office. Look at it. You are coming to my shop, not knowing <laughs> who has taken over in the kingdom of heaven. Let thy kingdom come into my office. Hallelujah. Let thy will be done. As it is in heaven. It is God's will for you to be healed. It is God's will for you to be saved. It is God's will for you to be protected. If you say, let thy will be done in my life as it is done in heaven. As it is done in heaven. Do you know how many angels sexual in heaven? Guarding heaven. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah! If his will is done in your office, do you know how many angels around you? Hallelujah! Amen. To God be the glory. Let thy will be done into my office as it is done in the offices of heaven. Then you walk. People see you with a pride and say, it is too, too proud. 
But not because you want to be proud, but you, you feel it. Hallelujah. Give us this day our daily food. For what? To give us strength. The same way, give us this day our daily money. That money asks for it every day. Give us this day our daily blessing. Give us this day our daily knowledge. Oh, had I known, sorry. Because you went empty headed with no knowledge. You thought you used the knowledge of yesterday as if you can use the food of yesterday. Give us this day today our daily knowledge. Give us this day today our daily wisdom. Amen. In the morning before you leave your home, give us this day today our daily understanding Amen. that I'm my business, but I will understand what to do. I'm in my office. I will understand what to do because I ask of the Father to give me daily understanding. And he's a giver. Hallelujah. Amen. Give us this day, our daily breakthrough. I don't know. Things are not moving. Did you ask for today's breakthrough? I don't know what, I, what is going in the office. I don't understand it. Did you pray for the daily knowledge and the daily understanding? In the morning, did you ask for, or you came to the office empty-headed? Why do you complain? You may be strong, but empty-headed, because you did not ask for today's knowledge. He was teaching me, I did not understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not worried of you, because you came here empty-headed. Say, Lord Jesus. Give me today, Give me today. My, daily my daily wisdom, my today's knowledge, my today's knowledge. knowledge of your word, of your my today's understanding, my today's to understand your word, understand your my today's blessing. My blessing, do it again and again, and again. in Jesus' name. Every day. You keep on every day. People look at you and they laugh. They don't know. Father in heaven, hallowed be your holy name. Thy kingdom come into my business. Thy will be done into my office. Give me this day your daily mercy. Your daily favor. Your daily love. <laughs> he gave an example, but he didn't say, just ask for daily food, as if you need only food to use. Your daily protection, you need it. Your daily power, you need it. Now I am here. Many are here with questions. I should ask for today's answers. That when you ask me a question, I have the answer. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. Daily healing. That these people are here, seated. I'm not worried whether they are sick. That's not my issue. I've already asked for today's healing. How many blessings you want? I've already asked for today's blessings. So I'm not worried. When I look at you, I don't see a poor man because I already asked for many blessings for you. I just walk proud, happy because I know you receive. Why should I worry? I have asked for today's faith. So we did not doubt, I know you receive. Give me today, today's victory. Whatever you want to do, I know the victory is in my hands.
We are running from here to over there. Okay, come young boy. He's a very young boy, but I prayed. Today's what? Get on your marks. You two come. The two young boys. <laughs> now, put there the, the board as the, the finishing line. Mm -hmm. Get on your marks. Get set. Go! <coughs> Watch, brethren. Watch what is happening. The two who ran faster have fallen down. And here comes the pastor, Prophet Samuel Kakande, walking majestically because he asked the Lord Jesus for his victory for the day. And he takes the winning position. Thank you, Jesus. Why are you wondering? Your name, sir? Thank you so much. My name is uh, Stephen. I'm from Zambia. Uh -huh. I'm surprised to see this. It's my first time. There is a power of God here. It's like electricity. I've asked for my today's victory to be number what? This is what I'm saying. What happened? When we were standing here with Prophet, I wanted at least, I knew, I may not reach, but at least let me reach somewhere. But, but I don't know what really happened. I realized that I was down. So, you, you were near. What happened? Tell us. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Albano. From, from Tanzania. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is just passed here like, uh, I don't know, like uh, air. Just here. I'm just wondering why he's going this way. <laughs> Neither than this way. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Your poverty will not know. Yeah. That witchcraft will not know yeah. how it will disappear from it. It will not know. Your witches will not know what will happen. Say that day. That day is my victory day. Today, I receive my victory. In Jesus' name. What is it? <laughs> my brother said, uh -uh. Your name, sir. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. I am Pastor Charles Chipri from Zambia. Uh -huh. Ah, uh -huh. the things I was just seeing on YouTube, today's live thing. <laughs> ah, I can't say. I don't know. I, I even wanted to ask the, my friend there, which drove him there, because <laughs> the boat was there where I don't know what power moves. But when you were there, you were seeing. <laughs> I was seeing my, I saw, I don't know. <laughs> ah. No, I am a lucky person to be here. <laughs> Are you still worried? I'm not worried. I'm not worried anymore. That is all. <laughs> that is the faith you need to go be the glory. I have problem. I have problem. You have problem. What, what is the problem? That problem will not know where it will go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen to Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, I created the blacksmith who blows the coals of the fire, mm. who brings forth an instrument for his work. Mm -hmm. And I created the spoiler to destroy. Mm. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Mm. And every tongue which rises against you in Again? judgment. No weapon. No weapon mm. formed against you mm. shall prosper. Mm -hmm. And every tongue mm. which rises against you in judgment, hey. you shall condemn. Hey. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Exodus 14, verse 23, 24, 25. And the Egyptians pursued and went after them in the midst of the sea. Mm. All Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. Mm -hmm. Now it came to pass, 
in the morning watch that the Lord looked down <clears throat> upon the army of the Egyptians hmm. through the pillar of fire and the cloud and he troubled the army of the Egyptians and he took off their chariot wheels <clears throat> so that they drove them with difficulty and the Egyptians said let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians 24 again now it came to pass in the morning watch that the Lord looked down upon your problem through the pillar of fire and the cloud and troubled the pillars of your problem. Hallelujah! Hey, 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 hey. Hallelujah! Hey. The Bible said 25. And he took off to, to switch off. He took off their chariot wheels so that they drove them with the difficult. And the Egyptians say, let us flee from the face of Israel. For the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. To God be the glory. Amen. One thing you need only, that the Lord will look. <laughs> through the pillar. Upon your troubles. Hallelujah. Amen. And the troubles which have been persecuting you, troubling you, yes. night and day, will drive their chariots with no wheels. Hallelujah! Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Are you worried? No. Look at my feet. People look at you. Hello. Eh? The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all from now and forevermore. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be in my office from now and forevermore. Be in my business from now and forevermore. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fresh of the Holy Spirit, be with us all from now and forevermore. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fresh of the Holy Spirit, be in my business from now and forever. You know the fellowship of the Holy Spirit to be in your business. The Father the Son, and the Holy Ghost to be in your business. Victory is already in your hands, brother, sister. You are worried because you don't know what will happen. But now you know exactly what is going to happen. Why are you worried? You know, at our place, there are so many witches. Don't bother about that. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, which prompted him to give Christ Jesus to die in your place. That love and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, be in my business, be in my office. Here you are in your office. Here you are in your shop. And the witch doctor come. You are worried because you don't know. But now you know what will happen. You have the weapon. Oh, yeah. Every morning, every morning I do it. The, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to the embassy. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The fellow of the Holy Spirit. And forever more. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> but each foot I take is a prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all in my journey, in my application, in my <laughs> fire. Okay, how many have learned something? My name is Rachel. Mm. I come from Kenya. Mm. Today, I've learned a lot 
I've learned that before I wake up, mm -hmm. I must say good morning to Jesus. And I've learned that whatever we do, we do it for the glory of God. I'm Liz Nkonjela from Zambia. Mm. I've learned that God is not one of these things, but he created them for his glory. Thank you. My name is Bitu Melo from South Africa. What I've learned from today's teaching is that my purpose in life is to glorify God. And whatever that I want from him, it must be for his glory. Thank you. God bless you. My name is Grace from Nairobi, Kenya. Mm. Today I've learned that I should not worry of anything because my God is fighting my Egyptians. Okay. My name is Dennis Mulawisha from Zambia. Mm. What I've learned today and that what has excited me most is that we are here on earth as actors. So it depends on how you act. As believers, we need to act as believing actors. So when you are sick, you act in the sense that you are sick but believe in God, that once you are healed, you give glory to God so that whoever sees you acting, they will believe you, that you are acting positively. So we are here on earth to act positively for the glory of God. God Amen. bless you. I'm Dobeka Yamakasi from South Africa. Mm. We must use our time for the glory of God. That is what is going to qualify us in heaven. Amen. God bless you. I'm Apostle Balloon from Botswana. I have learned that even when you are going to your daily activities, you should commit them to the Lord. Walk, pray, surrender them that whatever you are going to do, God is there for you. Thank you. My name is Chimwemwe Masina from New Zealand. Uh, mm. What I've learned today is that... Um, the relationship with Jesus Christ is the most important thing, more than the church that one belongs to. God bless you, Lord. Thank you, man of God. My name is Caroline Chibuka. I'm coming from the UK. I've learned today that we come also as mango, trees of fruits, and when people eat what we produce, they glorify God. So we should be fruitful in whatever we do. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. My name is Madhani Ergao. I came from Eritrea. What I learned is heaven is not a church. It is our home. So from wherever church we came, just it doesn't matter. What matters is our relationship with Jesus Christ. God bless you, Lord. My name is Wendum Lawisha from Zambia. I have learned that when we wake up, we have to say good morning, Jesus. We have to greet Jesus before we do anything. And the other thing, we should not worry about our business. When we are going for a workplace or our business place, we have to ask for a daily grace in the office of business. My name is Mubuso from South Africa. What I have learned today is that prayer is the key. Uh, what I've learned from the man of God, he said, does not only end when we say good morning to Jesus, but every step we take, we must be in prayer. The grace of God, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Every step I make from today is Instead must be of prayer. Just Thank you, sir. You are hurrying to your business. Ah, no way, don't allow it. I can hurry. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us soon, be in my business. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be... Am I losing anything? No. Eh? No. Okay. Hey, you've learned even. Yes, sir. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, let's say this man is in front of me. Okay, two men are in front of me, even you. Ah, you be behind. Eh, there are two men. Can I pass? Ah, they are there. 
And that is where I'm going to pass. When my eyes look at them, I'm so much worried. Because I know physically I cannot pass. Yes? This is what happens. I'm going to give you an example. But now, why I should remind them is this. I will not curse them. No, this is very wrong. I curse you. I curse you. No, you are wasting time. You are? Don't waste time in cursing people. Don't waste time in cursing your enemy. I will not mind them. Whether they are there or not, that's not my issue. But that's where I want to pass. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with me from now and forever. Watch, brethren. See what has happened to them all. Why are you wondering? Ah, uh, ah, uh, look, look at the man, look at the man, look, look at, look at him. Ah, uh, look, look, look at Okay, give him my Domiano Hanyimbo from Zambia. Hey. Ah, hey. sir, I am so shocked. Why? I've never seen such a thing oh. in my, with my naked eyes. This is my first time. <laughs> so you are worried because you, you don't know the results. But once the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with you. This is not an issue. Say, my problem is not an issue. It is just over. Because the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit is with me. Now, where is the issue? And what is the issue? The pastor, you left him in Kampala. Is he with me? Does he know what is going on? I wish I call him. Yes, it is good to call him. But if you call him and you don't do what he told you to do is wrong. In the morning, instead of just calling the pastor, eh? listen, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all in my business from now and forevermore. The grace. I'll call the pastor later. He's my friend. I'll call him. Pastor, good morning. I'm just greeting you. Isn't it? Our Father, thou art in heaven. Hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come into my life into my business. Thy kingdom come into my office. Thy kingdom come into my building. The building it has stayed there for five years. Thy kingdom come into my building, which stayed there five years. Now the kingdom of God is reigning. Amen. Thy will be done upon my business, which had failed five years. Let thy will, Father, be done. Give us today our daily materials as we are building this house. Give us today our daily blessings. Give us today our daily money. Give us today our daily blessings. How can I say I have many problems? Even when I take a foot, I take it blessing. Give us today our daily blessing, our daily money, our daily success. And I say I have a lot of problems. <laughs> Hallelujah! Don't waste time. You are an actor. May God give you the strength to do every day what you have to do. Prayer. That is what you have to do every day. May the Lord give you the strength to do what you have to do. Seriously. This woman is not even laughing. Kumbe de. I went under. I 
went to the office. I, I met a small lady. And uh, I wanted to shake hands with her. But hey, what happened to me? The lady came. The lady came. I don't know what happened to me. I'm a big man. But the, the, the young lady shook my hand and I started trembling. Hey. Hey. Which lady? That lady at the office. That small lady. That, because you have been pondered. Yeah? Have you got it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me. I'm a strong man. But a gentleman just came out and said, good morning. I feel I'm overwhelmed. I don't know. Because why? Our Father, thou art in heaven. Hallowed be your holy name. Thy kingdom come into my life, into my hands into my heart, into my mind. My husband comes and he quarrels and he fights. Oh, in. Let thy kingdom come. <laughs> oh, oh. That's what the Lord taught us. And that is the truth. So you are worried for so many things because you do not pray. If you pray, you don't know how to pray. Let the Holy Spirit help you. Let the kingdom come into my business. So then you come to the business. Even if you don't want to buy, you buy. You channel. From the other shop, you come to my shop because the kingdom of heaven is in... Uh, May God bless his word. Amen.